Valentine's Day. Is it me or does it seem to just make people run around and try to unlock this romance achievement? So have you found the one? If not, maybe the one could help you find the one. He is the one. Neo is basically Cupid. And I know this for a fact because he did bring my wife and I closer together. Let's talk about that. A Valentine's Matrix crossover gives off a love is a construct vibe. But let me explain. Valentine's Day, 2006. Now I'm about to give my age away here hardcore because this was our first Valentine's Day as a married couple. Now we're not chocolate and balloons and crowded restaurants, oversized stuffed animal type people. We tend to buy each other gifts that we wouldn't buy ourselves. And this particular year, I decided to buy my wife a perfume that she had really been wanting and she got me a PlayStation 2 game. Enter the Matrix. No, not Enter the Matrix the game. I'm saying like that's where I'm introducing the Matrix to the story. The game was The Matrix, Path of Neo. Now, it's been 18 years or so since I've played this game. So my first inclination was to dig it out, fire it up, let's play it again. But how would I record that? Would I film the TV? I could use a capture card, but that requires an adapter. I could buy it on PC, but no one seems to sell it digitally. I could purchase a physical copy for PC, but then I need a disk drive. I could go the emulation route, but there's some legal ramifications there if I don't have like my own PS2 BIOS and I'm not the one that converted it from physical to a digital ROM. And before we jump into this whole abandonware subject, let's put a pin in that. Maybe we'll do a future video on it. So for the purpose of this video, I'll use already established footage and give credit where credit's due. Now, if my old man memory serves me correctly, this game starts off with a tutorial. It drops you into a fight scene, the elevators open up and they just, enemies keep rushing in. And I think this is to gauge skill level. So the game knows what difficulty setting would be best suited for you as a player. And this got me thinking, is a first date basically a tutorial? You're essentially dropped into someone's life mid game and they're trying to assess your skill level. And if you fail, you could quit the game, go play another game. You could try again, or you can continue playing on the easiest setting. Let's talk about that for a second. You decide to continue on the easiest setting. If you did that to a game, you will likely get bored. It is not challenging enough and then it'll fizzle out and you will move on. Am I talking about video games? or relationships here. Yes. The thing is, is this doesn't only apply to romantic relationships. It also applies to platonic relationships too, like friendships. So if you're celebrating Valentine's, Galentine's, or Palentine's, doesn't matter. Who said relationships aren't a game anyway? Because I think they're more similar than we would like to admit. When you do find that game worth playing or that relationship worth having, there will be challenges along the way, but there's also this huge sense of accomplishment after you beat a boss level or overcome an obstacle and then you move past that. The question here is how do you get good? How do you gain XP and build skill levels so you can level up? You practice, you put in the hours, you customize the settings for your player style. Keybinds, sensitivities, learning someone else's love language. And don't copy other people's relationships. You wouldn't copy someone else's save file from a game. At least you shouldn't. Please, please, why would you do that? It's not yours. Just be inspired by them and learn from them and apply things to your own relationships and, and games. Especially when your partner, your friend, your game is worth it. But what if it's not worth it? What if the game is too stressful, the relationship is too toxic, and you can't change settings? Then play something else. Now, I'm not saying just quit when things get too difficult because you're like, oh, you run off to the next thing. No, but maybe playing something else isn't quitting altogether. Sometimes it should be, but if it isn't, maybe chase down some smaller quests 
and level up a little bit before you tackle those boss levels. Look, you can't really win without getting through those stressful moments, those boss battles in life, if you will, because there would be nothing to really have a victory over. But man, those stressful moments can be heavy. So uh, like in Matrix Revolutions, there's a point where all the machines are coming. You know what? Wait, let us let me give you a little bit of backstory first. When my wife and I first started dating, so a long time ago, I would found out that she had never seen any of the Matrix movies, which I shouldn't have been surprised. She had never seen Lord of the Rings. She had never seen Star Wars. Her movie experiences consisted of Dirty Dancing and Selena alternating on repeat. So I had a lot of work to do let the movie marathons commence. So we get through the first two Matrix movies and we are watching the third and final one. Well, final at the time. And we get to the part where the machines actually breach the city of Zion and they start filtering through the top. And this is the moment where I realized that my cute little girlfriend did not have the capability to just gasp. <gasps> No, no, no. What she did is I look over and she stands. I'm sorry. You're thinking she's standing on the floor. No, 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 no. She stands on the couch and starts jumping up and down, yelling at a 34 inch CRT monitor. That is how enthralled in this story that she was. And I learned that the stress levels had exceeded the capacity of this five foot framed female. Now I say this in a joking manner, uh, but the truth is we have learned a lot about each other over the years and we continue to learn a lot about each other every single day. So that made twice that Cupid Neo helped guide our relationship. Maybe the one can also help guide our relationship. I mean, this video basically is our tutorial. So why don't we take it to the next step? or not. Either way, I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Maybe the one can help you find the one. I mean, Neo basically is Cupid. But hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Man, I'm gonna miss him. March 9th, how far are we away?